So somebody said purple, somebody said blue, green, teal. I think I hit it with this set, Odyssey. All right. Take a deep breath. I'm usually painting by 5.45, it's 5.47. Take a deep breath. Uh, set your intentions. My intention is just for a little bit of calm time for us. Uh, anybody you're thinking about, maybe put some music on. Um, I do wanna say one thing. Don't worry. Um, Today, somebody commented on my YouTube channel and said, I absolutely love when you sing and I'm a voice teacher. And she goes, you have a great voice. So thank you to the lady who said that, but I really would like the voice lessons from her. All right. Let's go wet on wet. All right. Yep. You want to purchase this journal and is on it. All right. Here. Oh, take your fingers. And run them right along that inside edge. Let's get a nice seal. Let's not look at me. Let's have some fun. We're going to go wet on wet. What does that mean? Take a brush, wet up your canvas. Not a lot of wet, just an even layer of wet. We're going to let the watercolors do their thing. For all of you who tell me, Watercolors scare me because I can't control them. Well, I hate to tell you, sisters, you're probably not controlling anything in your life. You think you are, but you're not. All right. So let's hit some yellow. Oops. I hit yellow, blue, and brown because they're all next to one another. Okay. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it, go. Let it go. I heard magenta too. So that kind of makes me happy. Magenta, I heard. So let's do this while it's still wet. Somebody asked me today, do you always know what you're painting? I don't. I most times don't. It's fine. Okay. What do you think? Oh, I heard purple. Oh, perfect. There's purple. Are you happy? Now, when your watercolors get a mind of your own, their own, dry off the brush and just pull her back a little bit. Take a little bit of the water out. Just pull it back. Okay. And yeah, that looks a little scary. We'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. Uh, I lost that one. So let's do, what's this color? Is this a color? Hmm. Well, it is. Oh, yeah. Nobody can tell me I was not meant to do this because the second I start painting, I feel like my blood pressure just goes down, down, down. So if you're anything like me, this is a wonderful way. Like, see, just scoop that back where it's supposed to be. Scoop that back where it's supposed to be. Dry this off. Okay. Everybody with me? Who's painting with me? Who's saying I am in? Okay. Now these the watercolors can go. They can they can move around the building, all right? Uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, do you want to add a little bit? Do you want this to be in front of that? Okay, good. Yeah, every week. And um, somebody asked me, are you going to be live even when you're traveling on Wednesdays? Well, that might be a little difficult. I'll be in the car, but um, you know, I'll do what I can. Now, don't worry if it loses its shape. Let it still do its thing. Now, I'm going to mix a little bit of the yellow. Okay, yellow and green. Okay. 
you know, my earth yellow has a ton of brown in there. Just it's there. So now I'm going to just wet my brush up. All right. <laughs> okay, a little bit of green. She's following me. Now, how many at this point are just panicked because you're not understanding where the flower begins and the flower ends? By the way, I love the Outer Banks. Been there three times. I love it. Now, again, I'm just going to like dry this up a little bit. For those of you who are panicking because you don't know where your flowers are, that's okay. This is one method of me painting. I love it, makes me happy. And then I'm going to let this dry. Oh, golly. I'm going to continue to add a little. Oh. drop of darker oh thank you Jean. sherry said i needed this tonight for my blood pressure also thank you oh my god yeah you know what i had to do i had to write myself a note to take my blood pressure pills that's pretty sad when you kind of put yourself last so uh, I put myself first this week. All right. Also, I decided on Sunday I'm going out with my girlfriends. Uh, I, I had the uh, you never do anything fun with us uh, speech. And I was there. Right. I don't. <laughs> and I've been working. You guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I just have email sent. And oh, my God. Hold on. I apologize. Barry, I'm teaching online. Can I call you right back? Okay, why don't you call me when you're done, okay? I love you. Okay. My kids are now more busier than I am. <laughs> I miss the phones. I hope you guys are making this an exercise of just letting the watercolors go and not trying to control everything. Does that make, oh wait, congratulations. Laura, this journal, I'll send an invoice for shipping in the journal and I'll ship it for you. Thank you, that's so sweet. I sold his surfboard today. <laughs> He's like, Mom, I can't sell that surfboard. I'm like, I'll sell it. I do make sure that I list all of the materials that I'm using. So I do, if they, this does hit my free tutorials page. So just remember that today I had somebody looking. I don't log in all my lessons, but there are pictures and everything. So if you're looking for something to inspire you while I'm driving, whenever that time comes, we'll just start posting old links and I'll make you go back to those. For those of you who are in your artful journey, guess what? Crazy pre recorded your lessons so far for well, August, September, and I have the video for October ready to go. So I am not going to make anybody miss, it, miss me. Hey, okay, that's the deal. Love it. Oh, bonjour. We have some. We have Montreal. I love it. Very international happening right now. Somebody asked me this week about me traveling for work. I have to go in October to Florida. And then I have to go to Houston. No, 
Galveston in November. And so I'm just waiting because I don't know where to book a ticket from. Uh, oh, I want to know where the next retreat is. Oh, I will tell you. I'll give you the exact address and the amount of tables in my own house, Lisa. <laughs> Not my own house, but in my own workshop. Okay. So now we've come this way, this far. I've sat down. I'm going to decide what flower is where. And we're just going to do this. Uh, although I did have uh, the, I had a place that's larger than my last retreat in California reach out and uh, they really want to have it. So just so you know, but I know many are asking about that, uh, but I plan on setting up a location that I would be able to have people in my own workshop. Uh, so just stay tuned because I'm going next weekend to map things out and what needs to happen. All right, do you see the petals telling a story? They're telling mine. They're telling me where to go. Yes, I draw right off the paper. I don't let that stop me. Uh, what is this? I know all my Maryland girls are happy. Even if we have mini retreats. Okay. I don't know what this is. So we'll decide right now. How many of you get to the green and go, wait a minute? Uh, I don't know what to do. It doesn't all have to be there. Oh, I love it. Quarterly retreats. I hope Lisa plans on volunteering on the planning committee. Actually, I think Lisa with two S's would be on the planning committee. So, all right. So now I'm just taking that same pen and now I'm gonna really decide where things are. And we're gonna slow down our brain a little bit. All right. I'll put you girls on the planning committee. By the way, though, I have to buy new folding tables because I just sold all mine. Oh, the girls here. Guess who that puts me close to the pen is like had it. You know what I have? Oh, I took it outside. Uh, my pens have kind of. I need to place another order of pens. Um, that will be closer to uh, my picnic table sold already. I told them I would finish up uh, some, it sold. The realtor actually wants it and loves it. So I, I'm about 50% done, uh, sold it to my realtor. You know how many people want, oh my God. I'm not even done with the mural and the, the uh, they love it the way it is. I, uh, Sherry, I don't have a month in mind for a retreat. I need to move. <laughs> I, I don't have uh, anything in mind. <laughs> Just unpacking my underpants. And just being able to find my underwear at this point would be amazing. But that is definitely the plan. It's all, uh, I've been talking to my uh, family about this. It could be a family affair. I am going to North Carolina next weekend. Um, I'm gonna 
go see my niece move into college. I'm going to go to the house. Hopefully I have access to it. Uh, do some planning. And then I am going to uh, go to my closing and fly up the next day. I want to see if I can get as much work done while I can. All right. How many of you are just sitting back enjoying? The nice part about this too is I, I'm a very private person in general. I really am, believe it or not. Um, and um, I know a lot of people go, oh, you share so much. I do. I mean, I share a lot, but I don't share everything. And one of the spaces for me that is so sacred is my home. So I haven't really been able to teach classes here Um because it's my home and it's like, uh, I get asked all the time, like, why didn't you do like the open house art stuff? Uh, they do artist open home tours. Well, I like my, my, my sleeping space to be different than my workspace. And I'll be able to accomplish that, um, by having a separate workshop, which makes me quite thrilled, uh, for anybody who, you know, just, I, I actually feel weird about putting my house for sale in this weekend. They're doing the open house and I, you know, won't be here. Thank God. Um, but that to me is very weird. Transformation is amazing. Loving this painting. Thank you, Benita. Um, so that to me is very difficult to navigate right now for me because, uh, I'm getting so many people asking about, you know, my home and this, how much land. I'm like, oh, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to sell it anything. So the realtor told me not to worry she got. And then I won't be here to see people rummaging through my closet. Uh, are you still working? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am. Yes. Hmm. All right. What do you think? I mean, this right here to me is like the start of the show. Had the best work break watching you create. Oh, Gina. Thank you. One, two, I need another leaf somewhere. Where is that? Thank you. If you're a member of your Herbful Journey, you know I'd like this posted in our group so I can see what you're creating. And yes, I plan on going live. I'm not driving. Dear Lord, I can't even drive myself to work 13 minutes away without wanting to fall asleep. Uh, so I'm actually looking to possibly sell my car, which is bizarre, but it's been my lifelong dream to get rid of the mommy mobile. I've been driving since 1904, so actually makes me happy. So all of these are things I have to attend to and they're just, you know, all you can do is one step at a time. You can't do more than that. I've, you wake up, you put your best foot forward and handle accordingly. This is an aquarellable pencil. It's activated by aqua.
gives a little depth of feel there. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Darn. Anyway, watercolor back. Da 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 da. I need my watercolors back. Okay, I'm just gonna go into that green rock solid. I'm just gonna go into that green. Come back in and just, oh, my brush is a little bit big for that, but I can just use the tip. So I plan on taking you guys, uh, uh, I'm, go I'm actually going to road trip. I've already mapped it out to see family the whole way. That's the idea, as long as I can swing it. Uh, but I got a puppy going with me too, so. <laughs> That'll be interesting. And when I say puppy, she's 13. <laughs> so, oh, I want this to be. She has no spring chicken. All right. So look at that. That is further. Thank you. I'll keep you all posted. I, I, I hope I'm not doing the long goodbye. I, I got a lot of local people asking me where the goodbye party is. I, I'm not much for that. Uh, I'm not much for goodbyes. I'm, I'll be back. Uh, Penny loves to be in the car as long as she gets a pop cup from Starbucks, I've discovered. So uh, that is that is the plan. Uh, I believe uh, I do. I, I'm working out with friends and possibly my brother. But yeah, I, I just can't. I know for me, I have the attention attention span of a gnat and driving that far would be really hard. We discovered Penny likes pop cup. You go to Starbucks. I didn't know it was a thing. My, my dog, you get like whipped cream for your dog. It's crazy. Cause I have to keep taking her out of the house. So I don't know what to do with her. So we go through the Starbucks drive through and that's what how far is it uh oh, california to north carolina 2500 miles i don't know i'm talking out my butt right now i don't really know it's on the other end of the united states i haven't really i'm nervous to look but the good news is i have family in arizona new mexico and Houston, and uh, I've had many of you offer for me to come stay. Uh, I that's not. I, I haven't worked out all the logistics, y'all. I just know I can't drive, and that's not my thing. Oh, good. Everybody knows what these pop cups are. I didn't know what they were, and I definitely thought I was eating because it was on my hands, and I thought I was eating like dog something, but it's not. It's like whipped cream, I think. Okay, so I'm just taking the aquarella bowl in here. Oh boy, that's amazing. Oh, approximately 2,800 miles. Thank you. Oh, that was a day trip. But I hear you're on the nappy. Okay, yeah, I don't, yeah, I can't. Oh, I got really dark there. Uh, I melted the tip of the aquarella bowl. Okay, thank you. She's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, Australia, you could travel. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to take one of those cars that drive itself. <laughs> yes, I do have some. <laughs> There's been many discussions of who's driving with me. You just haven't been voided it yet. So another answer I cannot provide. 
Well, Australia is like the never ending road trip. It is, I think, I think when I was in Australia, we figured out it was the size of California, but like, I don't know, the population was crazy. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a liner brush and some black paint. I'm just using the lid because I thought, oh, it'd be nice to just darken this up. What time is it? 6.12. Okay. I wanted to know who bought this. Is she happy? Does it make you happy? Sorry, that was a little flat. I have done many a trip across the United States. I usually am driven like Miss Daisy, but, uh, and I have driven myself too, uh, you, uh, in my youth. Uh, but I don't really like to drive and I could get lulled to sleep in two minutes. Like if I get in the car and we're taking a road trip to New Mexico, I can conceivably be sleeping 20 minutes in. Yeah, it takes three days by train to get across Australia. It's, it's huge. So I don't really claim. My brother was an option, but no. My brother and I have been wanting to take a road trip forever. Oh, she loves it. Okay, we're good. I don't want her to think she didn't get a say in this. Like I said, the logistics, oh, I'd love to drive, but if someone else drives, I'm asleep. And yeah, I don't love to drive. I can't stand to drive. I, If somebody would, like, drive me to work, that's probably what I would hire is, like, a private driver if I had unlimited money, uh, which I don't, uh, and oh, also a chef. But uh, that's beside the point. Um, Uh-oh. Don't, don't. Just giving us a little bit of a zhuzh. I do not like to drive. I don't even like to drive five minutes to the store. I realized, what was I laughing at the other day? I went somewhere and I don't normally drive. People pick me up. I live on the way to everything. And I laughed because I went to the VFW, like I do every week, but I normally don't drive. And I bypassed it by like, I don't know, like three drives. And I was like, what a complete Nimrod. That is how much I don't pay attention. So can you imagine if I drove uh, across the United States? Oh, gal, I do have a wonderful sense of direction. So I know that part. I just, and I have gotten, listen, I have done some miraculous things, but I just have no interest in it. I want to read my book, watch Netflix, and watercolor my way across. You know, I want to paint the sunset. I want to stay in hotels, eat road snacks, and eat pup cups with my dog. And see, like, the biggest ball of yarn or whatever, you know, the biggest thermometer. Are you at new house yet? Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Eat pop cups. I actually don't like whipped cream either, so. Yeah, I don't. Um, why am I saving this? This is so out of pink. It's not even funny. Okay, um, one more thing. And that is, I'm just going to do it here because I don't want to, oh, I have a pen right here. We're going to like give a little splatter. All right. I am sweating to death. A little bit of wet on a fan brush. Right this up.
Now, for those of you who tell me, nothing comes to my brain when I sit down to paint. Why don't you let the paint speak? Like, why don't you just wet your brush and just let the watercolors go? Okay, that's it. I'm done. I am done, done, done. I'm gonna heat up. Let's let this dry. Let's let this dry. Okay, y'all said purples. I didn't use blue, sorry, but I did do greens. I did do purple. I did do magenta. Okay. Now let's say a little prayer. My tips did down. Yes, it did. Laura, I hope you love this. I hope you love it as much as I love painting it. If it makes you happy. I always go back to this little exercise because every time it turns out different, paints never go the same way. All right. <laughs>